Taking over the game one step at a time Everybody has these dreams of being first in line It may take a little while before we reach the light We just gotta take what we gotta make sure Clerks 2 was once again written and directed by Kevin Smith and in this film we follow Dante and Randall of course and instead of working at a grocery store now they work at a fast food restaurant. This film takes place 12 years after the first film and in the beginning of this film Dante is opening up the quick stop grocery store only to see that the store is on fire resulting in him and Randall losing their jobs and for the past year they've been working at this restaurant called Movies and it's Dante's last day and he's about to move to Florida with his fiance say and Randall doesn't exactly know how he feels about that he doesn't know who he's gonna be hanging out with anymore and of course Jane Silent Bob are in this film once again and it's Clerks too I mean what really much can I explain it's not really much of an overly complicated plot it's Clerks too that's all you can really say the day I reviewed the first Clerks film was the same exact day I went to go see Clerks 3 in theaters so I thought why the hell not just review Clerks 2 and also I'm gonna review Clerks 3 pretty soon which I'm really excited to talk about that but Clerks 2 is a movie that a lot of people for some reason don't really like. I mean, there are, this film definitely has its fans, but there's a lot of people that kind of just thought Kevin Smith just did a rehash of the first Clerks film. And honestly, I have to disagree with that because, well, yeah, there are certain aspects of this film that I think Kevin Smith kind of reused. But besides that, I think Clerks 2 is a still a really great comedy that kind of stands on its own. Yeah, there, like I said, there are certain aspects of this film that Kevin Smith just reuses from the first film, and you can definitely tell that from here, but this universe is so, so well established, and at this point, it'd be kind of weird if Kevin Smith didn't reuse certain aspects of the first film and bring it into a new movie. So it kind of feels welcome at this point. What I do appreciate about Clerks 2 is that Kevin Smith didn't just try to copy and paste every Everything from the original film. He did try to make this film stand out from the last one. I mean, for once this film has color, but obviously that doesn't really mean anything. This film just has a different mood than the first one did. Obviously Dante and Randall are still the same exact characters. Dante doesn't exactly know what he wants to do in his life. Randall is still the belligerent asshole that he's always going to be and we're going to love him for that. But what this film also brings is two great characters that I thought was a good welcome into this universe, which is Elias and Becky. These guys are awesome. I mean, Elias is just Elias is just the cure to cancer. One ring to rule them all. Dude, the Transformers sucked. Oh no, they didn't. They were more than meets the eye. <laughs> they could beat the pants off Ranger Danger any day. And then obviously Becky, played by Rosie R. Dawson, who I honestly think is one of the best characters in the entire film. In fact, I think she is the best character in the entire film. The relationship between her and Dante is rather sweet, and there is a lot lying under the surface with that. And what I love about this film too, is that Kevin Smith doesn't overdo the whole romance drama type stuff. He makes it serious enough to the point where we understand and we care, but he doesn't turn it into some melodrama with all these like, romantic comedies where like it'll just be this really funny movie and then later it just gets really serious and melodramatic. Kevin Smith doesn't do too much of it and he doesn't do too little of it. It's a perfect balance and that's what I really love. The relationship between Dante and Becky is just so well established and very sweet in this film and eventually when you get to that big twist that happens after the uh, ABC dance sequence which is awesome by the way. Kevin Smith really does establish the relationship fairly well within this hour and 30 minute film. I would honestly say that Dante and Becky have a better romance story than freaking Edward and Bella did with that entire five or six films however many Twilight films there were. I don't know. I don't fucking care. Clerks 2 is kind of hard to review because honestly this film is made to be this way. This film isn't trying to be this over-the-top stupid comedy. It's not trying to be this melodramatic dramedy or anything like that. It exists in its own universe. It's like something that you can't even really explain. And if I really wanted to think of flaws with this film, I definitely could, but Clerks 2 just it's just Clerks 2. That's what else can I really say? And then of course Jay and Silent Bob are in this film and they're just Jay and Silent Bob. They're funny. It's always great to see them in Kevin Smith films and yeah. Other than that, Clerks 2 isn't really a film that I can just go into this deep analysis of. The only thing I can say about this film is that I appreciate the fact that Kevin Smith didn't just try to redo the first film. He tried to make this film stand out on its own and I think he did a good job with it and I love Clerks 2. I'm gonna give Clerks 2 an A. Yeah, I know, I know, this review wasn't really in-depth, but I mean, neither is the film. So, 
you get what you pay for. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time in the new video. Peace.